The release of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet means access to brand new Pokemon, but not all of them are worth using. On my first playthrough, there's nothing I dislike more than grinding up a new Pokemon only to find out it's trash. So today we'll be looking at the top 10 early game Pokemon that you can reliably use through a full playthrough of Scarlet and Violet. Starting with Palmy a surprisingly very useful Pika clone found on the first route. We're also doing a giveaway for copies of Scarlet and Violet, so if you want to use this cute little mouse yourself, just subscribe, watch to the end, and comment what Pokemon you're most excited to use. So on this very first route, I promise you, the only thing you need to worry about when running through here is Pommy. It starts as a pure electric type, and upon initial use, you might even be questioning my choices, because it only starts out okay. Having an early Pokemon with Stab Electric moves is really nice and it will serve you fine but unevolved its defense and HP are pitiful and it gets one shot a lot. Where Palmy shines though is that it gets its first evolution into Palmo at nearly level 8. For reference, the second gym is level 17, so you can get it evolved pretty quickly. What makes Pommy even better is that you can get its final evolution just one level later at 19. This evolution is based on steps, not levels. You simply have to press R with it at the front of your party to send it out into Let's Go mode. Running around with it for 10 minutes should give you the thousand player steps you need, and upon leveling it up one more time, Pomo becomes Palmot. And Palmot is really good. First, the early game power spike is noticeably useful, but overall its stats are just very solid even towards the late game. With a 490 base, it's got 115 attack and 105 speed. But even better, Pommy's evolutions are both electric fighting, giving you super effective coverage against water, flying, rock, ice, steel, dark, and normal. It even gets dig to deal with electric types, and this combination makes it useful for quite a few important fights. But it's certainly not the best Pokemon in the game, as it is still very frail. So while it's a solid Route 1 option to use through a full playthrough, there are still some better Pokemon. Like Mastiff. Mastiff can be found in Area 2 of the South Province. Or in easier terms, you want to go the west path out of the Academy Town, heading towards the Bug Gym. Compared to a lot of the early Pokemon, Mastiff has surprisingly alright stats. Basically, it's kind of bulky with 78 attack. It starts out being quite useful, but because it doesn't evolve until level 30, it does see a slight drop-off. As a fighter, anyways. Because Mastiff also works as an incredible support Pokemon. It its ability is the Amazing Intimidate, which lowers the opponent's attack on switching. But it also gets Scary Face and Snarl to further help with that utility. But it's once you evolve it, Mabostiff is here and ready to finish the game for you. Its attack goes up to 120, and it's also got pretty solid bulk. 85 speed's also not the worst. It gets moves like Crunch, Comeuppets, and even Outrage for the Elite Four. You keep the Intimidates, and it's also great for one of the hardest gyms in the game, the Psychic Gym, Tula. Now, up next, we have what I believe to be a slightly better version of Palmy. This is Watril and Kilowattril. So found on the way to the third electric gym, you'll be getting this a little bit later, probably in the 20s, unless you go really out of your way for it. It gets Volt Absorb to give you immunities over both ground and electric. It's got solid electric and flying type moves, 105 special attack, and an insane 125 speed. As an electric type, Palmot's got better coverage, but if I've got a sweeper, I want it to be faster than basically everything, and Kilowattro really is. It is a little bit frail, but overall as a sweeper, it does its job well, and it does its job consistently. Now up next, we have Smoliv, a grass normal type. Smoliv can also be found in the South Province Area 2, as soon as you head west from the Academy on the way to the Bug Gym. Its unique typing with grass normal means it gets stabbed from Tackle along with Early, Absorb, and Razor Leaf, and while it's not not too much help in the first two gyms, our Bolivar is just an interesting Pokemon. So you've got a bulky Pokemon with 90 defense and 109 special defense. But the big thing is it has 125 special attack. So this is a very tanky Pokemon. The thing that really does it for me though is its ability, Seed Sower. When this Pokemon is hit by an attack, it makes grassy terrain. This basically gives it leftovers, restoring 1 16th of HP per turn, 
and it increases grass moves by 50%. You get 125 special attack, a great grass move like Seed Bomb. You're a grass type, so add 50% same type attack bonus, and then an additional 50% for the grassy terrain. This Pokemon is so cool and so fun to use. It's a very useful Pokemon through the early game, and it really comes into its own once you fully evolve it. Next up is the Fighting Flying type Flamigo. It can be found at the start of the game in the first wild area located here. This is just after the lighthouse in the cutscene where you first encounter the legendary, and it's probably your best option for an early Pokemon. Flamigo has no evolutions, but it comes with the stats of a fully evolved Pokemon. Most importantly, 90 speed and 115 attack. You can pair this with it learning early wing attack and double kick for some amazing early game output. And furthermore, flying fighting type is just amazing for the early game. You've got advantage over countless normal types as well as it basically gives you a free gym one and two. More importantly, something I've found very common in Scarlet and Violet is that I find it easy to just go wandering off doing my own thing. All of a sudden, I'm challenging some star base or a new trainer and they're like five, 10 or even more levels above me. And having a Pokemon in this early game that's basically a final stage evolution bridges that gap and saves you those fights. And this thing manages to keep up into the late game with some later learned moves like Throat Chop and Brave Bird. It's amazing up until Gym 8, and you'll only really see any drop off, if at all, in the Elite Four. Now, you might be surprised to see a Gen 1 Pokemon on this list, but that's because Primeape has been given a new evolution. Annihilate is a new powerhouse ghost fighting type. So once again, Mankey can be found just passing the first Western Bug Town, and for not evolving until level 28, Mankey is a pretty good fighting type. It's got 80 attack and gets crazy moves like Cross Chop really early. At 28, you'll get a nice boost in power and you only need to train it to 35 to do the rest. So it's here you get the move Rage Fist and to evolve it into Annihilate, you just have to use the move 20 times and level up. Coming in as early as 36, Annihilate is amazing. Fighting is always appreciated, but Ghost Secondary means it can basically hit everything for at least new damage. The best thing of all are its stats. You've got 110 HP, 115 attack, 90 speed, and respectable bulk with 80 defense and 90 special. It's strong, it can take hits, and oh my god, it just looks so sick. At number four, we've got Caspa Kid. This again can be found here in the West Province past the first bug gym. So its first evolution is a grass fire type and you can get it pretty early. And if you choose to get it pretty early, guess what? It evolves through Firestone. The Firestone can be found in East Province area two, just off the path to the electric gym in front of a small hill. So if you're really dedicated, you can have this fully evolved before the first gym, but at the very least going into the third. Oh, and guess what? Upon evolution, Solution, it gets flamethrower. That is literally like all I need to say, but there is more. At level 17, it learns sunny day and its ability is chlorophyll. This doubles its 75 base speed and doubles the power of fire moves. And so as long as you can get the sun up, Scovillian sweeps. Grass fire is cool and it's insane through the entire game. But up next, we have the little guy, Knackly. This Pokemon is found right outside the Eastern Passage of the Academy Town. So it starts as a pure rock type, and with 280 bases and a level 24 Evo, you might be wondering if it's worth it. And trust me, it is. It's 75 defense and decent attack will get it through the early game. The middle evolution takes it up quite appropriately as well, but its final evolution, Garganical, at level 38 is incredible. 100 HP, 100 attack, 130 defense, and a very respectful respectable 90 special. This thing is a tank. Sturdy on this thing is amazing, but you've also got the new ability Purifying Salt. This gives it a resistance to ghost types and it will never be given a status affliction. It's got a new move called Salt Cure that does chip damage over time and deals double to steel and water types. And this move is amazing for a lot of the big bosses in this game. Whether it's the Titans or the Team Star cars, you just basically get chip damage over time on a really, really strong single Pokemon. You also get Stealth Rocks and even Earthquake at 49. An essential Pokemon for your first run, Knackly is my man and I cannot recommend it enough. So also found just to the east of the Academy Town, there's a little tucked away sort of 
area where Char Cadet is guaranteed to spawn. Now, Char Cadet starts out and its stats aren't great. Fortunately, the first two gyms are grass and bug, so it does really well then. And it's at this point that you can quite reliably evolve it. You go to this town, talk to this guy, and Scarlet give him 10 bronzer pieces, and Violet 10 Sinisty chips, and boom, you're done. You have evolved it. You are unstoppable. So Scarlet version gives you Armor Oak, a special attacker with high defense and fire psychic typing. It starts good, and it's got the stats to carry it through the entire game. And Serilage is a similarly awesome counterpart. It swaps psychic powers for ghost and has high attack and special defense. It's also got 10 more speed than Armor Oak, which is not to be understated. So they're very well statted Pokemon, you can get them early, and they even have their own moves. Serilage gets an 80 base power fire healing move, while Armor Oak gets a fire version version of close combat. While Serilege is the obvious replacement to your fire starter, they play very similar as Pokemon and are both a huge asset to your team. But if there is one Pokemon in this game that to me just screams consistency, it's actually Cyclozar, a dragon normal type located on the way to the third gym in its early 20s. Early game dragon type is just an amazing defense. This Pokemon also starts with the move Breaking Swipe. It's a 60 base power dragon move that is guaranteed to lower the opponent's attack. It even works on both Pokemon and doubles. But the best thing of all is it starts with 501 base stats. 121 speed, 95 attack, overall decent bulk. And so with that, I do strongly feel that Cyclozar is the most consistent early game Pokemon that you can use through a full run of Scarlet and Violet. Also subscribe and comment your favorite Pokemon on this list to enter the giveaway.